I'm Naina Kareli of Wanda, and we're live in the Wanda studio with Bashar Sala of Reserve Out, a restaurant reservation site. Bashar, how are you? Hi, Nina. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing good. good. You enjoying Arab now? Loving it. Good. Chatting with people? Trying. <laughs> good. Um, so, describe Reserve Out to us. What it functions like open table for the Arab world. So Reserve Out is the first company of its kind in the Middle East. We started in Jordan and we provide an online restaurant reservation platform for restaurants. Uh, sort of providing restaurants uh, taking their online table inventory to the cloud, taking it to consumers, to online consumers through our uh, Reserve Out online web portal, through our mobile applications, through various social network plugins, and helping them connect with their customers, with their, uh, helping them connect with their customers, accept reservations from multiple, uh, multiple avenues, and better spread the word about, uh, about their business, while at the same time helping them manage their restaurant operations, their front of the house operations, no, learn more about their customers, learn more about uh, the different, uh, basically, collect valuable details and information about their customers to provide them with very subtle and very detailed market analytics and consumer uh, consumer data. Interesting, so you're describing it from the restaurant perspective, but if I as a customer come to the site, I can make reservations, I can cancel reservations, I can see what's available, I mean, what, what how Ab do I use it? Absolutely. Uh, we look at Reserve Out from two angles. The first one is the consumer. Nina and the other one is the restaurant itself so for Nina for you you're able to go to reserveout.com uh, look at search for restaurants based on cuisine and price range user reviews and at the end uh, decide on a time and immediately execute on it and get your confirmed uh, like confirmed uh, online reservation which is directly recorded in the, in the restaurant's electronic book electronic reservation book on the other end, for restaurants, we provide them with a full solution for managing their front of the house operations. So, next time you go to the website, you're able to look for things that are close to where you are, for example. If you're, uh, if you're, in, if you're not sure what's available at 8 p.m. or like in 30 minutes, or in your, you're in the mood for sushi or in the mood for Italian, go to Reserve Out and check out the different filters that we provide. Look at different photos of the restaurant, different reviews, different... Uh, even check out their menu and uh, go ahead and make the reservation. I see. So when we first spoke uh, several months ago, the name of the startup was Ifshez, mm -hmm. and you were starting in Amman. Mm -hmm. Now you're telling me you're in Beirut and you've changed the name to Reserve Out. What was the decision-making process around that? All right, so we started with Ehjaz initially, which is Arabic for make a reservation, or the command form for make a reservation. And we loved it. We used to love the name, we used to love the logo until we went to Dubai. And people started saying, Ijiz, Hijiz, Widjiz, all different random saying, or like random pronunciation of the word. And we, because we are targeting both Beirut, we're targeting Dubai, we're tar targeting an expat community, and we're looking to expand even beyond the Middle East uh, into markets other than uh, Arabic speaking countries, we realized that we need a much more uh, international or a much more uh, expat appealing name. And that's where the name Reserve Out came out. Uh, so it brings together two things. You're actually going out and you're making a reservation. And uh, that's when we were sold on our new name. And it basically went through the whole process of rebranding, redesigning our logo, relaunching our product. And uh, the second thing you mentioned was that we are in Beirut. So we've actually established presence in Jordan. We are receiving, we've seen it more than 600 customers in the past month and a half uh, since we started our soft launch, in, uh, soft launch launch in Amman. And we have just two days ago uh, enabled our website in Lebanon, in Beirut. Mabruk. Thank you so much. And uh, this business strikes me as a, as a chicken or an egg issue in the sense that you can't get customers until you get enough partners on board. And you can't really, sometimes it's difficult to get partners before you have customers. How did you solve that? How did you land your first partner? Sell, 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 sell. <laughs> no, actually what you're saying is absolutely correct. Uh, it's sort of a snowball effect in a way. Initially, it's tough. You need to get to a critical mass of number of restaurants so it's appealing to customers. And uh, once you get the customers, restaurants are going to come on board because they want to leverage the network that you already built. But initially what we're doing, we're doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one presentations to restaurants. We're trying to convince them with the value add that we bring 
uh, for managing their restaurant operations. So we do emphasize the strength in the, in the online aspect, but our strength is actually uh, initially, uh, or the focus initially, is on the product that we bring them, on how they can revolutionize the way they're running their restaurant, how they're revolutionizing uh, how they deal with their customers. I mean, if you walk into any, any restaurant right now, and you tell them, okay, show me a list of customers who haven't showed up at your place in the past three months, you're gonna hit a wall. We tell them we can solve that for you. Uh, we tell them, all right, so you've overbooked for today. What are you gonna do about it? A lot of the, a lot of, a lot of the times it comes down to the experience of the host, which again, we tell them, what if the host leaves? So what we're trying is to sell them on, uh, on the concept of reserve out from the venue, from the restaurant, uh, from the restaurant end, and eventually show them the strength or like the potential uh, where it can get to eventually once our service is fully launched, once we have the enough traction on our website and mobile applications. And a lot of, a lot of these places understand that we are a startup. They all understand that we are building, trying to build uh, an industry, trying to, to change a lifestyle. And they want to be uh, on the forefront of this new revolution in the restaurant reservation, uh, in the online restaurant reservation industry. And how many platforms can I access Reserve Out on as a customer? Today you can access it on our website. Uh, before the end of, uh, of April, probably in the second week of April, we're going to have our mobile application for, uh, we're going to have a mobile website which also before the end of April, we're going to also have our uh, iPhone, I, uh, iPhone, Blackberry, Android applications. Uh, so the idea is whichever online platform. And we also have ideas of starting a call center. So even if you're on the run and you don't have time to, to load the application, just call us. You'll call whatever 1-800 number that we start in the city, locally in the city where you are. We'll know who you are just from the, from the caller ID and you will get all the benefits of figuring out where you've been, uh, your history, uh, collecting the points because you're, you're reserved through us, and you'll get the special treatment that you deserve as, uh, as one of our loyal customers. And have you bootstrapped this? Have you taken investment? What's next for you guys in terms of expanding? All right, so we've bootstrapped up until this point. We've, uh, just, uh, we've basically received an offer that, uh, from, a number, from an investor a foreign investor, we're, uh, we signed it, we're not a liability to discuss it at this point. But things are moving forward and uh, we are ready to start exp uh, expanding. So as I said, we're in Amman and Beirut now. Very soon, as soon as early April, we're going to start our sales cycle in Dubai, Beirut, uh, in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Kuwait. So all, th all within the month of April. Uh, we're uh, working through a various number of partnerships. We're looking for local partners in these cities uh, where we're expanding to help us connect to restaurants. We have different models, different revenue share models and different incentive models for, uh, for the partners. And we're also connecting with different online portals, trying to, uh, to basically entice them to basically forward traffic to our, uh, to our service. So sites that have reviews about, about restaurants are a very solid uh, in a very solid position for partnership deals with us because of the different for the natural fit between our offering and their offering because we complement each other rather than compete with each other uh, sort of uh, I, I, I like to always refer to the open table Zagat model where Zagat provided excellent user reviews and open table allowed uh, allowed Zagat customers to, to, to immediately uh, exercise on uh, I'm seeing a nice restaurant. I see. So you're looking to partner with with review sites potentially. Absolutely. All right. Well, it sounds like April's going to be a busy month for you. So. Well, thank keep you so much. Keep us posted on all of your news. Absolutely. You'll be uh, one of the very first to know uh, next time we have an update.